Hello, I just want to make a video on Vertigo Smokes and other utility. This is the New Year's time of 2019 to 2020. So this is around this current patch. So the first way to start off is do smoke off Ivy or Catwalk. Go in this corner and then come right between these two lines and just jump throw smoke. You can also go a little bit more to the right. Just depends on what your preference is. Next, what you could do, if you want to get deep IV control, go in this corner, right here, and then you want to look at this dark spot, go all the way up, and jump there. This will get you deep IV control, in case you are just doing a full plane rush and you want to molly these other areas out. This does have a, have a one way in some spots. Be wary of that, otherwise, you could get flanked there. Alright. Bray sides. There are two main XUs. You have the two, two smokes up front and a heaven smoke, or a heaven smoke, lower heaven, and elevator. It's whatever the preference is. So for heaven, you can do right here. You see the Y and the X axes going right in the middle. It's pretty easy. Right on the edge of the sandbag. Next, for the double smoke, go in this corner. And then you can go from this point right here all the way up to where the grime starts right up there at the top. I got this one from Som. It's pretty useful. And then you want to go up here. To the edge and then look at this uh, steel bar and look at the right of it these will do your wall smokes if you want to smoke out lower heaven and elevator room you may need to do a molly for headshot so we do slow walk and throw a molly right there above the peak of the cloud and then if you're doing a lower heaven smoke you can just look right around the band of the building look a little bit right to it and this will smoke lower the best way to smoke elevator is actually by peaking this angle so that's why I say molly this you may want to actually peak this too just to be safe so you don't die and then you can either very walk through it or run through it to that uh, part of the cloud to the lower part of the cloud and I'll smoke elevator there are two ways to molly elevator one of the ways being more deep so what you do is you look at this steel bar and then double click this will prevent anyone from just keeping or why swinging out the elevator, they have to actually stay out here in the middle of the open. This next one is a little uh, harder for good reasons. It's one for rotators, so when that smoke is up, you really look at the top, up, up top right here and double click. This one can and will go against that, so you have to really uh, mess with this one a lot. It's a, it's very hard for a reason. You just have to find a lamp that works best for your crosshair and your resolution. So that will get uh, this back area, preventing anyone from rotating in this area. A way to smoke heaven, if you're just in deep shit from sandbags, you just go in this middle circle, look to the left of this cloud, and then throw. This will get lower heaven. For after plant utility, for it, especially molly, if you want to molly the corner, in ivy, you can just go this little dot, and then throw a molly. You can also just half-ass molly, it doesn't really matter. For close, or default plant, which is right here in this corner, 
what you do is you go up to these bars and then go up to this corner where the two dots are and then walk throw double click so once you get past these two you will double click throw and this will get the close side and it also is a little beneficial if you can throw it a little earlier that way it'll bleed all the way through like maybe this right here this way it will bleed all the way around and be a little better for b side you have the two front smokes and then the two back smokes the back smokes are pretty simple you are here up against this part of the wood and then look at this cloud you'll see that it has like a little backwards l and you will look a little down to where the l is and it kind of gets in the center of this uh dimple area and this will smoke the back part of the site this is best in line with the smoke where you go in this corner crouch and then go in the middle of this handlebar railing and then jump through This is a good smoke if you want to make sure you get control of the site and make it harder for the CTs to uh, retake, is what I'd say. The best way to make sure that no one's peeking in this angle is once you throw the second person smokes in the back, you can come up on the sandbags over here, make sure that no one peeks this angle, and then pull out your smoke. Or uh, not a smoke, but a flash, and look at your finger. It goes right here on the index, and then you would just throw a molly and then a flash. This molly will get the guy from the back engine, and then the flash will also flash right here, so it'll blind anyone back sight, front sight, maybe in the, this little corner right here too, and of course right in the back where the molly is. I'll show that again real right quick. And also, it doesn't blind anyone running up because it ends right here. So that's a really cool smoke or flash to use when your team is rushing or something like that. So the easiest way to smoke off these uh, front sides are pretty simple. One other one from Sam is you can go in this corner and look at the top of the crate or this corner, look a little above it. This will kind of bleed the smoke a little out a little bit more than my liking but you could also do another smoke where you go in the sandbags put your crosshair or your uh put the handlebar over the beam and look up to like the middle of these two dots like a little bit left of it so i'll also do the same thing but maybe less of a bleed over on the left side the easiest way to smoke the close right, besides just running up and smoking it yourself like that, you could go in this corner again, crouch, and look at the bottom of the handlebar, and that will smoke the close side. Now for mollies, there aren't really uh, many mollies. You, you kind of just have to half-ass it for the most part, besides like uh, maybe throwing a molly like this over. This, besides the besides the point, every other molly is pretty half-ass. Besides the one in the middle. Okay, so for mid, the best way to smoke this right here to prevent rushers on CT side is come around this corner, stand up, look at this parabola of the cloud, look a little bit right to it, maybe a little lower depending on what you like in your crosshair, and then you can smoke this off. This prevents players from rushing the smoke. And with utility, you can back them off here. They will not, most for the most part, be staying here. And the main issue is above this booster here and the main box boost. So ways to combat these. What you can do is molly right here or double nade to your preference. They do the same thing. This molly will not be cancelled out due to the smoker here. It will work the same as if it was not there. And then for the boost. The boost is kind of tricky. You might have to learn this a little bit more for practicing. You want to get as close as you can 
to this wall without obviously hitting it. So what you do is you get as close as you can, and then walk back to the throw. And then if you do it correctly, you can keep them off the boost totally. Now, the reason why it may not is because you're not close enough to the wall. So this would obviously be a lot better than the last try. So it does get, uh, there is some room for error, and there is a reason to practice it. For sandbags, you just kind of back up behind the wall and then throw a left click smoke, or molly. This will bleed all the way up forward and all the way to the right, which is really cool. If you are attempting to wrap parts of sight for smoking left and right side, for A side, if you're wrapping B and you want to smoke elevator, you can look at this rectangle right here of empty space. Look at the top right and then run through. This will not, for the most part, have a one way unless you do not run very far. So just make sure you run an adequate amount, and that will have no one way. For CT spawn, going to A, what you could do is look at this empty space in the box area, walk all the way to the corner of the box, and then throw. And that will smoke CT spawn, so you can go elevator. You may need to just throw a half ass smoke for this area, so then you can wrap all the way around. But you can just do that on the go. You don't really need anything. So that is for all of it. And hope you guys enjoyed. On to CT side. What you could do, or what I should rephrase this. What you want to do as a CT player, for, especially for A, is you get this ramp control and to keep these TEs players from back at, towards their spawn or towards this back ramp area. The way to do this is you run up to elevator room, you want to hug this wall. You will not get caught on by this wall whatsoever. You want to look up to this left side of this window all the way up to a height of your preference. When you use this smoke you will get you will find a, a, a lineup to your preference. Look up keep running up and then your crosshair will soon go up to the point where it's throwable and then you will be able to throw a ram smoke. Down so I'll hit that bar and then go deep into the ramp. And I did that quite poorly to be honest to where it didn't go as deep as it should have been but it still works. So something like this it'll go a little bit deeper so they cannot rush. What you could do to pair that is they could be rushing this way to Ivy. So what you do is go over here on these bins, look between these two dots, and throw up Molly. This this lineup I did get from Sam again. This will prevent any player from rushing even to that corner. As a CT player, whoever is not throwing the nades, you could hold this off angle off. If there's no one rushing. Double click a nade. This will get any people from this corner. And if you throw a little higher, you'll get some people who are backed off from the molly, but are wanting to aggress to kill you. Be aware that an opper on the T side can look above this and op the corner. That is an area to look out for. Uh, this is a smoke I got from Stewie, what he used for the recent game against Astralis. As you go in this corner right here, look at this dark spot right here, and then it will smoke close ramp. This is very good to get basic control, but not too much control, to where you can't just get opt this angle like up there. This was used very nicely. To where people, no one can come up and get info like this, they will die instantly, and no one can just rush the smoke. It's unrushable, is what I would say, for the most part. Now, if you do not have a smoke, but you have a Molotov for some reason, 
what you could do to get rid of a rush. Get on top of this ledge, get in the corner, and look at this little box or rectangle, and then right click it. This will prevent any rush for the most part, or at least give them 40 damage. So you have a slight advantage. Another smoke, what you could do is if you do not want to necessarily aggress fully to this, but you want to give your Ivy player room to engage with, what you could do is come into this corner right here, look at this dot next to this steel, and look a little under it. This would get caught onto the railing and then smoke a little deep of Ivy. One thing to check is this what an Ivy player could do. Just go into this corner of Ivy, and just throw a nade right before he peeks in. That way any people walking would get chunk 50 damage. With the smoke up, as a CT player, using a flash you can peek this angle, all or all the way. This is very good as a bumper for some reason. Or you can have two players Ivy, one holding this, and an opera peeking this angle. For example, if there's a smoke here, a nade you can do is just bounce a nade around this wall. Typically, there are lurkers on this left side of the ramp, and this nade will do at least 10 to possibly 50 damage if you're really lucky with the timing if you are here or in the general vicinity. For utility B, or uh, mid, sorry. There are two main things you can do. One is to get ladder control and getting corridor control, preventing this player from getting info or any rushers trying to get mid control info. So here's what you do. You can go in this corner, back up, and then make a very small walk throw. This will smoke the back and prevent anyone from getting info, especially this player we're here, forcing a guy to look at this ladder, which is another position that you're keeping the T's from doing, whether it be getting B control or A control. The all you can do to assist that smoke is to throw a walk throw molly. Now, I went a little bit too much to the right, but you only look at this top left of the beam. So, like I said, you want to be on the far left, but make sure you be accurate. It's a little hard on 1024. Just make sure I'm on the top left, and then you can smoke it off. Or mollied off, sorry. And with your teammate, when this is smoked and mollied off, as here, what you want to do with your teammate is look at this thick part of the wood and go to the left. As your teammate walks up to go to the ladder, you throw this flash, which is the lower part of the arrow, and this will get you ladder control, flashing anyone without them knowing, and it, the only angle you have to check is this angle right here, which you can do just by peeking, with peekers advantage. That is, for the most part, all you can really do for, for B utility. Uh, there's not a lot you can do here, all you have to do really as a player is to gain info here just by jump spotting or jiggling and keeping players from rushing using your utility to keep rushers in the way and keep them from using their utility decks for you. So a smoke I found by Don Hassey on Twitter is you go to the B, look at the left, and look at this underbelly of the steel bar and then jump throw. This will get you basic control of this lower area. This smoke is very flawed. I do not recommend it if you are trying to push necessarily because th there is a huge gap here that allows people to just go around it. But it's just for basic info if you're holding something like this, which you could do. If you have a teammate, preferably from mid, you can just come over, smoke this, and that way you can get more of this info over here. A good strong spot is to sit here in this corner where it's very hard for them to peek for you. You can just shoot them in these two angles. Or use a molly, like double clicking a molly right here. All useful. 
Besides that, you don't really have much you can do. Besides maybe smoking this off when they're rushing and holding an off angle like this or something like this. Very unorthodox off angles. Something that I, see, I don't see too often, but is really, really good to use, is sit, sitting on top of this ledge right here. This gives you a great off angle to get one, often two or more kills. So that's what I recommend for B, and I hope you all enjoyed.